Hi everyone, this is Moneki Media and Moneki Chandler. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel and welcome everyone who's new. Uh, please, I invite you to subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting, for liking, for leaving your guy comments down below. So uh, please turn on the notification bell so you will be notified with the new f future videos to come. So this is a video for uh, BTS member Kim Taehyung. I'm going to find out about his connection with the other members. Um, what connections uh, wh what are they like like what is their friendship like their what is their bone like between him and the other members okay i'm going to do a, a brief reading for him and the rest of the members we're going to start for kim taehyung and kim Sok jin see what's their connection like taehyung and jin what is their friendship like oh wow we have a strength it's, oh wow Two of Cups wanted to show up. We're gonna. Oh, right. We have silence. Jean and Taehyun. Jean and Taehyun. And we have the master, the teacher. All right. Value. Their friendship is very important to them uh, because they are the oldest and one of the youngest. I think they like. They're the kind of people who likes staying silent together. Like they will go outside. It just stare at the scenery, stare at the window or stare at the skies and just become silent and um, appreciative and quite reflective and thankful of all the things that they've gone through. They're very spiritual. They, can, they are the kind of people who will ask for wishes when they see a star or like a comet passing through. We have the master. Uh, look at that. I, I love it because this is just like the third eye. And this is like uh, the ha the halo, you know, the connection to the universe. It's like they have like a silent connection. They don't need to say much to understand what the other is going through. Maybe they talk a lot. They've been uh, through so many conversations that they really appreciate when nothing is happening. And it's like they have telepathic conversations even. They, they, they just uh, give a glance. They take a glance at the other and they are like, oh, yes, I get you. I feel like they are the kind of person when they are in a party all a lot with a lot of people. One of them will, it, like I said, um, share a glance to the other. And the gym will know what Taehyun needs. And it's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go, little fella. Let's go someplace. We have sorrow that is wanted to show up. I always check the cards that are wanting to come up. Which is like they've been having really deep conversations. I feel that they express um, both of them, both of their concerns about the group, about feeling isolation, feeling loneliness, feeling really dark times. I feel they talked about so many things and I feel that the other person was always listening it's like um, they will just stay quiet remain quiet and just listen and let the other person let all the sorrow flow and they will cry together and like be a great support I think that um, Jean or Taehyung will be the kind of person who will take the other to like away from the city to just Take it easy to read, to just not care about what's going on. And another connection that I feel is that, I don't know what I'm feeling this, but I feel something about being fathers. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like, Jean will be a father someday. And I am feeling, I'm having the vision of two kids, one girl and one boy. And I feel that taking will be like, the godfather of one of them but i don't know it's like something about jean's fatherhood that taehyun will be like always emotional about he will always appreciate and like admire him for his fatherly ways and even remember when jean took care of him when he needed the most but i feel that he was like always a big brother who will like embrace Taehyung when he needed the most like without judgment and I feel that 
it took them a long time to get to that point because maybe there was episode there was episodes in which they had some fights and they were like uh, really stressing out even very on, on the edge of like throwing hands even but like they had to like breathe deeply you know so let's just calm down and talk it out i know you are stressed out i know you've been having a tough day we are not we're not gonna take it on the other brother because we're brothers for life and i feel that there's a lot of appreciation because of that so let's check with the oracle cards for Taehyun and jean oh wow i love it it's wisdom it's like the master <laughs> i know it's it's like um one of them is really maturing and i keep feeling this is jean and Taehyun will be like uh traveling all around the world like doing uh, going like trying out new things and they will still like finding a way of communicating with each other let's see we have wisdom we have confusion we have abundance wow look at that this is what i'm saying oh a constant support whenever one of them is like an, maybe rushing up maybe taking rush decisions and the other one is like it's okay bro it's okay you can count on me we're gonna be okay and they're like they spend a lot of time together and I feel that Taehyun is will go visit Jean whenever he feels like misunderstood, like like Jean is like the one calming him down. It's like yes, it's gonna be okay because he's very like calm. Like he has a way with words and he knows what to say. All right, and look at that abundance and the way that they're both abundant but sometimes one of them is like a little bit worried about little details and the other one's just let's take it as a game let's just this is a game this is nothing to be concerned and yes eventually they might work together but for then i, be, I feel like they might work together in like a movie production or they might work together in like business something related with like a product that they are both gonna produce <laughs> right oh renovation and perfection i don't know i feel that this is their future ladies it's like their ladies will have some things in common and it's like they're gonna be very poised but like uh very beauty like beautiful like um beauty pageant beautiful like really out of this world and uh, they might be friends i feel like their future wives might be friends or something but because they have a lot of common they have a lot in common so and um I think in Tehian's case, she's gonna be like really uh, I, uh, very connected to the world, to like to the simple things which will ground him eventually. And uh, in Jean's, Jean's case, I feel like she's like the perfect wife, like the perfect uh, entrepreneur that will like also support him in whatever businesses that he is working with. All right. Let's see, we're going to check with the next member, which is Suga, Suga and Tejo. I'm going to try to make this faster because this is going to take forever. <laughs> so let's uh, look up into the connection between Tejo and Suga, Tejo and Min Jungi. What is their connection like? Tejo and Min Jungi, what is their connection like? We have Flowing, which is the Ace of Cups. We have the Master again. Taehyun and Min Jungi. Oh, wow. Right. There's cards that want to come up. We're going to leave it on the other hand. We have uh, the tower, the ray. Yes. He's like a father figure as well for Taehyun, but he's the one who will like uh, square him. <laughs> he, I feel that Shuga is like really not. He doesn't really. Um, 
appreciate some i think that this is the kind of figure that taehyung needed sometimes at some point when he was feeling a little bit um concern like uh, he was feeling like he wanted to go solo or something like that because i keep feeling the sense of taehyung wanted to just leave the i don't know if it's the groove or for a forever or like for a while because it's not because he wanted to be a, a solo artist i feel like he wanted to have a simple life simpler life because he was tired of everyone telling him what to do or asking him what uh which way to go i do feel that sugar is a tough love kind of guy but he really appreciates him and he will hate it to see him go or like and i even feel that sugar will be the kind of like if you go this group will just dismantle if you go it's like not gonna be okay because none of us will remain together it will just not happen all right so there's a lot of supports with each other so it's like he he told him you need you take care of yourself take as much time as you need so but just come back to us and take it easy and it does what happened and i think you guys the one who will like come over son come over he's like the godfather <laughs> come over and let's have a talk Let's just talk this out. What's what is it in your mind? And Dehum will be like, Well, I'm upset because you didn't listen to me and I was just making my point and, and I feel frustrated because every time I try to say something, I'm like being quiet down and I don't appreciate that because I have some things I want to say. I have my own way of expressing myself and I feel sometimes that I'm just being looked down and I don't like that. And she's like, All right, All right, I appreciate Sugar's like, yes, I appreciate you, Son, telling me that. Uh, but you have to understand that we are a group. We can't be just uh, nitpicking and like s just little s details or situations. It's like, to me, it's not little. For me, something is like very important and I need to be heard. And when I'm not being heard, I want to just go away. I don't need this. And it's like, all right, I understand you. Maybe we're wrong. And I think this was really important conversation that they had because they were not understanding each other for a while. One of them was like, yes, you are like being too much, um, doing um, too much out of nothing. And he's like, it's not too much. And they finally understood each other and they started to value each other's presence and each other's fr friendship. But I do have a sense of Suga being very wise, but at times, overestimating <laughs> his wisdom and that uh, will make uh, Taehyung feel alone at times feeling misunderstood like I don't think I am being heard because every time I say something someone has something else to say and I'm like quiet down and I'm tired so he wanted to move on at some point but that didn't take uh, the him anywhere and he was like we need to talk and they talk it off and it was hard but i do feel that they have some uh very intense uh, uh, talks with sugar that for a while they swept under the rock until it like boom, exploded into something real very real so let me check with um All the oracle cards. All right, we have liberation, like free yourself. So if someone was not feeling so well, um, someone was not feeling hurt, and then there was a conclusion. There was, they may have even been like a pause that they never talk about. I'm feeling this, like they're my there was a point in which they thought they were done forever but someone needed some conversation needed to be held and Taehyun's and Suga was one of them they had to talk things over because there was a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings right 
Yes, sadness. They talk it out. They talk it out. But yeah, I feel that um, their connection is stronger than ever. I even feel like they are soulmates, of course. But if they didn't talk to like about the deep, deep stuff, they wouldn't have worked it out. And this is what Taehyung wanted. He never want he he always wanted to talk about whatever was concerning and like uh, for him because for Taehyun it's not all about work 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 let's just keep working he's not a machine he needs his time and he needs to talk things through and that's why they started appreciating uh, the uh, the other all right this is what I'm feeling for Suga and Taehyun so let's go for the next member which is J Hope. So let's talk about Taehyung and J-Hope's connection. Wow, morality. I think that's J-Hope's energy because he's an Aquarius. Um, yes, this is an Aquarius card. Um, also Gemini, but it's air, a lot of air. And leaders, the energy of leaders. And to me, J-Hope is a leader. Oh, wow. Now the card, please, for Taehyun and J-Hope. Like, so many cards that wanted to come. All right. Wow. We have the lovers, which is like friends. It's not like they are lovers. All right. Take it easy. And we have this four card. All right. We have morality. We have letting go. Yes. And we have the lovers or um, in integration. Which to me is two people who have really connect. They like each other a lot. They are going to be together for a long time. Alright. At the beginning I feel that J-Hope was kind of like. Um, not easy to connect. Like he's very kind and all. But he's like. Um, he build, will builds a wall between himself and everyone else. Because he's very strict with his work uh values so eventually i feel that they had some talks very uh emotional talks and that's where they connected they understood each other deeply and that that's how uh, jacob and taehyung opened up i think they helped each other a lot and integration which is the car of two different people that had to meet that had to meet to help each other a lot we have I love it because this is to me like long lasting. The, the, we have the turtle here, which is slowly um, in, in long lasting. And um, yes, in a sense, we have sorrow, we have emptiness. I feel that maybe at the beginning, most of many of the members and BTS weren't connecting that emotion uh, that well emotionally they were like just hanging there working with each other but as maybe some time passed maybe two years after they started to talk about deep stuff a lot of important things and that's why where they all opened up and started to become more honest with the other i feel that taking always felt misunderstood like no one can be in his mind no one can connect to him and it's like people had to be patient like they need to they needed to be very patient and open and caring to him because there's a lot of love that he can provide to everyone but some people take some time <laughs> for that kind of openness but yeah, they're work they worked on it. I love it because they changed both of them, all right? Wow, I love it. Because this is deep, deep love. This is like connecting and changing. Look at that change, the rate and the change. The way that they understood each other is like otherworldly, like they, they changed each other's point of view. They wanted to become better. Alright. Let's check with the oracle cards. 
what we get for Tehyan and J-Hope. Confusion, again, wisdom, and we have praying, which is like two choice. Um, yes, because I feel that there was a time where Tehyan felt like I don't know, he, he, they were overworked, is what I'm feeling. He was always like uh, wanting to fight <laughs> the company or the people. And, and um, like some people like Jean and, and J-Hope were like coming up with their wisdoms, the words of wisdom. And like, we're like, good, but it's okay. We can go through it. We can work it out. And they help him, like calm him down. They help him become the person that he is today, which is very renovated. Perception, I love it, yes. It's because um, he, I feel like taking this very deep into his feelings. He does not appreciate people's vanity, people... So I feel that there was a time where they were like so overworked. They were just working out of like just because they were told to do so. And he was the one. He was like standing up against that. This is what I, this is what I'm feeling for taking. But I feel that he doesn't really connect with his own culture. And that's why he will be moving away in the future. Uh, he's the kind of person who really he will appreciate different type of culture with because South Korean culture is like working, working, working and not taking about taking care about your well-being emotionally. And I feel that um J-Hope and Jean were his guidance and where he felt that if they were by his side, he was able to do it because they were like father-like figures or like mother-like figures because um, they were like the family he was missing on. So I feel that the J-Hope will be the kind of person who will vi go visit him and go the simplest things with him like um, buying clothes or like going to yoga classes or going to like something, the meditation classes and do things together that will help them feel more connected. And I feel that this friendship did not only help Taehyung, but it helped Jacob a lot because I feel that in the past for Jacob, it was okay to just overwork and keep doing and just not thinking about it and carry on with your life and just not even have like a romantic relationship or not even care about anyone else, but just the work that he's doing. And I feel that Taehyung was like, no, we need to live life. We're not machines. And I think they renovated each other because of that. So that's why I feel that friendship is very long lasting because Jacob learned so much from Taehyung, which is connecting to your real self and to even your emotions. Because there's something that I feel that about Jacob is that he always do um, discard crying. Like he never liked crying. And with Taehyung, he was like, no, I can cry. I need to let go. I need to let my emotions flow. So this was really important for them. All right. So let's check about the connection between uh, Taehyung and RM. Okay. Taehyung and RM. All right. Let's check about the connection between Taehyung and RM. In Kim Nam Joon from BTS, we have change. Okay, card just fell. I'm gonna pick it up later. Taehyun and wow, we have isolation. And the card this, that fell was uh, the fool. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I love it. Transigencia, which is like um, compromise. I feel that maybe at the beginning. I feel that they found a lot of similarities, like these two people. There's a lot of similarities between them, but there was something missing. Um, I don't know, maybe 
Arian was the kind of person who was like a, a lot more serious on they were maybe they were both very serious but they changed each other's life and this is something um about Tejon's innocence and way of expressing himself or like silliness uh, maybe Tejon felt that he was not loved <laughs> by rm and vice versa maybe they felt that they didn't like each other at the beginning but because they did not express themselves um completely they had to spend a lot of time together but they weren't really talking but little by little i think that taehyun saw in rm someone like an older brother that was very reliable i feel that he started trusting rm a lot like i don't care where i am whatever i do like he's gonna have my back i don't care how foolish i will act rm will catch me <laughs> i won't fall because he's by my side and like whenever rm is away it's like he's very sad he really likes uh, having RM's friendship. And I feel that because lately I've been having this card, it's like one of the persons, one of the people that Taehyun misses the most is RM. Because he's like the, the person who will always catch him, like will always have his back, whatever he does. So reliable for him. Wow, that's so beautiful and lovely. It's it's like if they've ever breathing le leathers to each other. It's like uh, Namjoon will always tell uh, Taehyun that I am always watching you, my my brother, my little friend. I'm always right there for you, so you can just reach out to me. It doesn't matter the how little words we express when we're together. I'm always having your back. And so... Yes. Sometimes I feel that um, there are periods of, of time where they don't talk that much. Because probably because they're both very uh, compromised in their own of work or responsibilities. I feel that sometimes Taehyun feels sorry about RM because he's the one who needs to be, you know, in charge of like the group and the company and the fans and everything. He's got like so many responsibilities and Taehyun is like, um, uh, really sad that he can be of help. Because he feels that RM has a level of maturity that is very hard for him to even uh, start to consider. <laughs> he would never agree to have such deep responsibilities. And um, yeah. I think he will always support RM. And I feel that sometimes he feels that he... he Namjoon gives way too much of himself for the sake of the group. And that's sometimes he feels a lot of guilt or like he feels bad for that situation. Um, but yeah, I feel that they all appreciate Taehyun in a way that we have the card of the master coming for taking in every reading because there's something that only he knows there's a level of like um self-knowledge self of awareness that most of them really did not realize that they could have so they really love him and appreciate them and for namjoon i feel that he wishes to like be more oblivious to what others say to what others how others act 
all right let's check with um but what i'm feeling is also that sometimes uh i will feel a little frustrated with Tehyum, yes and he will not he never wanted to like yell at Tehyum, but sometimes maybe he had to all right to correct him for some things but it will always eat him um it was not nice but it's something that he had to do because he's the leader of the group and every time that they had those arguments he will turn really sad he will really get sad taken and that was exactly why rm will decide to never ever yell at him we have joy oh i love it Oh, we have soulmate. Yes. Joy, because when they are together, they're just happy. They dance together. They sing together. We have guilt, like I said, and this is guilt. They are, they feel guilty and um, for so many things, uh, about so many things, about the fact that they don't spend that much time together. They don't talk a lot sometimes uh they share secrets they which they communicate better they which they understand better each other better they miss each other a lot they don't like when they are away when they have arguments look it's stagnancy it's like uh, they have disconnected a little bit and they are missing each other a lot all right we have confusion Yes, I feel that maybe sometimes Taehyun, mm, wow, I, I'm feeling a lot of telepathy. It's like some of, one of them in, is having like a lot of nightmares and the other person knows that the other person is not feeling well and they are like, oh my God, I wish I could help him, but I can't right now. But they connect through dreams. They are uh, supporting each other through dreams. But one of them is feeling like a little bit... Um, alone or sad and the other one knows it but they can do nothing right now at the moment let's let's pull some cards about we have rebirth some cards just fell repression and the miser we have wow i have the lovers again yes they wish they could connect better silence i don't know if they had an argument recently but it's like they had like um something they couldn't communicate some of them maybe is mad they are thinking about the other they don't know how to reconnect but they are missing each other like crazy and they're having a lot of dreams about it they need to reconnect guys they need to do it i keep getting this message that someone has been very um upset about what the other did or say and they need to reconnect they miss each other they need to have that talk right i am the i am i feel that they are the kind of people that they hate it when they are fighting, but sometimes they just get frustrated about the other. They sometimes don't understand each other, but they are like soulmates. Because the lovers is the card of the soulmates. The two people that connect the best, but sometimes they will have like some uh, friction. Well, we're going to go for the next memory, which is Jimmy. All right, we're going to check... Jimin and Taehyun's connection. Taehyun and Jimin's connection. Taehyun and Jimin's connection. How are they connecting? What is the, their bone like? Oh my god! Friendship! Amigability! Two of cups. Two people that might work together in the future. Oh, they're already working on it, maybe. But they like have some reunions, they meet each other to like, so you can anticipate things for them. We have the miser. <laughs> um, someone is missing the other. <laughs> no, the miser. Um, all right, we have ooh, harmony. <gasps> no, this is the car protection. 
I think uh, it could be either one of them, but it's like someone is protecting, it's very protecting of the other. It would be Jimmy because to me, Jimmy, it's also Tehyun, but Jimmy is also very territorial. He doesn't allow just any person to come part, become a part of his uh, group or like his group of friends or like anyone. And it's like they have this friendship that they don't allow anyone just to get in the middle. We have projections. Um, all right. I received a lot of meanings from this card, which might be someone that is... Because, like, you can see, this is a card of someone who is always collecting things. So I feel that they are great friends, but sometimes they have, like, little fights about things that are very... Uh, like they protect their own things but it's like very fraternal fights like very it's brother like fights we have harmony which is that maybe at, at some point in their lives they were like picky nitpicky about some things and then they have like little fights but in the end harmony prevails you know they just go with the vibe when they are together they do whatever they just stay together and they like each other a lot even though sometimes they didn't quite understand each other look at that projections this is to me the card like they some people that miss each other but at the same times uh, at the same time when they are together they might argue they might talk about anything or just take it on the other like they just they are the, they have such trust they have such a bond, such a strong bond that they will talk about anything, that everything, anything, just whatever they are now saying to other people, they are saying to themselves. And they even miss each other to just have arguments. <laughs> they just want to have the other, to have the other, just to have the arguments that they can have with anyone else. That that's, This is a brother-like kind of friendship, like they are family. This is the family card. And they are like, sometimes they are like... <laughs> It's so funny because I, I feel a lot of funny feelings with them. It's like they will just, they are the kind of siblings who will push, when they are kids, they are like push each other and they are like, yay! And they are like hugging each other and they are having a lot of laughs. They are like really, there's no comparison to that kind of friendship, which is like family, like brother, like kind of uh, arguing with each other, those um, quarreling. Um... um but yeah they think of each other a lot they're like what is i wonder what's taking like doing at the moment i wonder what where's jimmy what is he doing why is he not talking to me i miss him i might not tell him because i kind of want him to tell the <laughs> i want jimmy to tell me first that he misses me but i'm missing him and they are so connecting so connected because there's this is telepathy as well telepathy is like taking things about Jimmy and Jimmy messages him and it's, it's the same Jimmy is thinking about Taehyun and he calls him and they're very different sometimes you know we, we have the five source comparison they might be very different in many ways with the the uh, hangman but they learn to work with each other. They enjoy being, being with one another. It's like a party when they get together. It's like, yes, my brother, where have you been? I miss you. you you've <laughs> even insulting each other at the same time because they are so happy. They care about each other a lot. And they even miss having those quarrels, like fighting each other, like taunting each other. They love that. Because I feel a lot of happiness just by them uh, fighting, just having silly arguments, just saying anything. They love the fact that they can say anything, anything, and the other will get mad for like a second and then just don't care at all. They not care at all. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. But um, let's see. I feel like there's a bit of a competition between them about just anything, like anything, anything with silly things, not important things like silly things. And um, 
even at games even at games they're like very i don't know <laughs> but they love it they love playing with each other like um yes i feel like at a point take him like i said take him my like do things on his own and like try out new things but jimmy will always be like um i don't know if it's jimmy many of them have a lot of powers but maybe jimmy as well i think he's got like some premonitions i think he's got some premonitions and he can tell whatever is going on what's going on with them right and um yeah let's check with the the oracle it's he, he means like the kind of person who will tell jake and i think you will take this decision and you will do this and you will do this so take care i will always support you but always talk to me always call me whenever you need me right let's see what oracle cards are coming for Tehyun and Jimin. we have wisdom we have perception we have creation wow soulmate of course um there are the, there are soulmates of them and of course the cards is here to remind us how weak of a connection they have wisdom of course they've learned through experience how to talk to each other how to carry on conversation how to understand the other perception because they are different but they understood what the other needed even without words by the end and creation because they have like some creativity um they want to create something together and i think they were they're, they're going to do something related to um it, it will be music uh but there are other, other things i don't know clothes i don't know it's like they're going to produce something together i feel um i don't know but if i feel that taking will be um very close to Jimmy's family always. Very um, friends with everyone. Friends of his children even. We have guilt and we have confusion. We have a stack Nancy, which is I feel that uh, Taehyun sometimes want to come close to Jimin because they are a wave at the moment, but he doesn't know how to. He's expecting Jimmy to hold, call him, but Jimmy maybe is like very much busy in whatever he's got going on. And Taehyun is like, I don't know, I need him. I want to talk to him, but I don't know if... It's the right time. Maybe I need to wait longer. But I think Taehyung needs to call someone at the moment. He he should do it. Um. Well, he's a Capricorn, and I feel that sometimes Capricorn people they really need to talk to people to others, and sometimes they are very reserved. They don't know how to express themselves, but they need it. And everyone who has a Capricorn friend, they need to know that you need to always call them. Even if they don't say it, they need you. <laughs> they want to talk to them. They, they want you to talk to them. So, well, this is for Capricorns and Capricorn friends. Um, friends of the Capricorn. So, yeah. Um, they will always support each other. They are each other balanced. They are so different. Different, like the blue and the red. But they care about each other so much. All right. So we're going to go for the next member, which is uh, Jungkook. Let's see. All right. This is a reading for VTS Taehyun and Jungkook Bond connection. What is their connection like? Oh, we have guidance. Oh, wow. This is the three of cups, which is people working together. 
but it's very professional actually it's very professional card let's see what else but it's always in this card i love it because it's like an angel visiting a human to teach them something so i feel that they visit each other in dreams we have the rebel of course the rebel car has to come up for for the two rebels in the group Taehyun and Jungkook are such re yes, rebellious souls. Harmony, of course, because they're family. We have conclusion, uh, which is the world, which is like the last piece of the puzzle that they needed. It makes sense. It's like the third eye. It's like um, something that was very much of help for both of them like look at that look at these two angels this is like the rebellious angel like the falling <laughs> the fallen angel look at the chains being broken and the other one is like yes i've learned my lesson i'm flying away i feel that they are the ones in the group that will just do as they wish and if there will be like a big hiatus they will be the ones doing whatever they want uh, Jungkook either traveling the world and Taehyung just doing a lot of uh, personal work like uh, projects um, but they always remain together in mind that they have a lot of connection like really telepathic connection so wow 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 this is so powerful that's how they connect that's connect connect it's it's like oh uh, hey um uh, whenever is they know when the other needs help they know they know it look at that mine we have oh <gasps> guilt wow these two guys have had so many so much bickering <laughs> I feel that they really, <laughs> they were never quiet. Like, these two have so much to say to the other. Like, they don't care how, like, at the beginning, it's like, they are twins. Like, they are little brothers, like, always saying what they need to say. Um, but I don't know. Man, but there's still, like, an important connection between them because it's like, wow when the one of them is being yelled at the other one is feeling the heat it's taking the heat as well so it doesn't matter where they are even if uh, well right now they are apart one of them is having such a hard time the other one is r really getting it as well they connect so deeply like look at that they are very similar. They are flying when one of them is flying, the other one's flying. They are connected, dude. They had to meet, but it's so strong. So I said this in one of the readings. In order for them to grow, like to they need to help each other. They need to talk. They need to always be in contact. Uh, even uh, telepathically but they need to talk uh, as well like look at that this is traveling but this is like the card of communication constant communication and traveling it's like their thoughts travel <laughs> like the the speed of light they are like that connecting in dream connecting in this reality connecting in other realities so they really help each other a lot existence look at that um yes it's like they look at the moon look at the stars and they are like connecting to the star they are helping they need to uh call each other when they need help in order for them to get better together it's like let dude i'm not feeling well can we like concentrate in like a certain energy so we can both work it out yes please let's do it because we when we do it together we do it it's like a lot better Teamwork is a dream work <laughs> for them, yes. They have something about um, company-related uh, situations in which they both got, get really work, worked out about. They really get worked up about some things. 
legalities or like company yes rule rulings um flowing all right we have dreaming yes they are in each other's dream i feel they're visiting each other constantly all right they're visiting each other constantly all right we have wow 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 we have maturity we have adventure oh my god this is the same energy that i caught on in the past reading i don't know a year ago about their connection but i feel that when they are together they try not to show like their connection is from far away like i mean they need to talk get out they need to they really need someone to tell them that they can help each other because when they are right in front of each other it's like yes everything's awesome but they are no they are not being that open or that honest or one of them it's not being very honest about how they're feeling so it, it works better when they are apart because that's where they help each other through dream through meditation but one of them will get the other to meditate more to relax because um yeah you just can uh, feel better just by pretending you're better you need to feel it right so i think they're gonna heal each other see we have the the loads we have the healing we have creativity i feel that they might work together because we have an adventure here a possibility for doing something together and we have maturity which is like a product like just you see right here it's a product right so one of them might be calling the other to work together with another artist maybe but yeah this is gonna be really good for them because it's gonna help them um channel all that energy let's see what's going on wow impartial we have renovation yes um when they are together they feel a lot better like they're happier like when it, they are in each other's presence it's like really light-hearted like it's like they're kids again they just can play they can be silly and do whatever they want when they are away it's very hard but at least they can tell each other's secret because when they are in front of each other they don't easily talk about it they don't want to show that vulnerability all right is yes we have praying which is what i'm saying it's someone will teach the other to meditate to chill to become more like uh thoughtful like mindful wow we have rejection and we have wow we have again lie we have rejection and we have growth Ooh, one of them is like wanting to spend more time with the other but they are not saying because they feel that i don't know you guys if you will understand the picture that i'm seeing but it's like someone one of them wants to work with the other but maybe the other is not willing or like not thinking about it yet so they will have to lie their way <laughs> and making it happen because we have lied twice so but it is just in in the sake of growing together so doing something together but the, the other one is so like concerned about other things that they are like 
ignoring or like trying to let let it pass and the other was like yes can you please come over because i have to talk to you about this little plant that i'm growing and i just want to tell you about it because it's very funny and then when they meet each other they're like yes i actually want to talk about the project that you've been <laughs> ignoring about but i don't think this is the first time i think that I don't know if this might be to him because I keep feeling like um, this energy, Tehyun's energy on his this side, that he's like I, I he wants to get Jungkook to to do something with him and them and other people maybe, and Jungkook's like but no I can't I'm like he's he takes way too long to to make a decision he's like hey it's just a little bit and they and then they work together. <laughs> And I feel it's because Jungkook sometimes gets insecure. It's because I feel that, yes, he needs like a little push his, to do something. So I think that will be happening. But it's like another excuse for them to spend time together. Like, yes, the, the facade. Yes, we're just going to do this thing together. And then they're like doing, but I love it because I know they are connected. This is destiny. But yeah, they, I feel that they're destined to do something together. So that's why they need to reconnect. They are calling each other to dream. So yes, this is what I'm feeling for Taehyun and all his connection with BTS members. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for everyone um, for leaving your kind comments down below. I'm going to see you in the next video. Please turn on the notification bell so you will know when it's up. So see you later. Bye.